Hey, welcome to the Victoria Marie blog. This week, I'm mainly sick most of the week with bronchitis, which sucks. Um, trying to get some work done and, you know, just trying to live life and trying not to die in the process. Enjoy. Ooh. So, day two of having a low-grade cold. Maybe it's a cold, maybe it's sciences, I don't know. Anyway, um, so my plan today is to work just a little bit, but to rest. Aubrey has really been demanding that I, <laughs> that I rest as any good spouse would do. Um, Corinne is working with her on homeschool stuff. I'm getting ready to work with her on English and science. Um, but we're just going to take it easy today. I think if I do anything for any longer than an hour, it's I just wear myself out because I'm just really, really tired. Um, I do have some projects to work on today. I'm going to finish up what I didn't finish yesterday. But I'm kind of playing it by ear. So I have a to-do list, but I'm not going to commit 100% to it. I'm going to try to do, get as much rest as I possibly can. And then hopefully tomorrow will bring more energy for me so I can get some more stuff done. The thing about working for yourself is that it's not like I get paid days off. <laughs> you know, it's not like I have sick leave or anything. Um, but I am my own boss. So if I want to take a day off, I can do that. Um, but I do realize, I know I hear some of you saying, rest, Victoria, rest. I know. I know I need to rest. I'll rest. I promise I will. I am going to go grab some tea because I think that would probably be best to help me clear out some of this gunk. And I think I'm going to um, make some toast because I need to eat, work a little bit, work with Rennie a little bit, and then I think I'll take a nap. For life is short but sweet for certain. Looking forward to using these in a variety of different places. I've always loved the large three-inch circle. It's something that we... It's Wednesday morning? Uh, yeah. And someone's up and showered. And what did you make? A, a parfait. It has for this bottom layer. It has strawberry yogurt mm -hmm. with um, some bananas, mm -hmm. and then on top the, the orange part is peaches uh -huh. with the peach yogurt. Mm -hmm. Has peach, and on top there is cut up strawberries and grapes oh. and grapes and a little bit. And I put and I put a little bit of sma a smashed up banana. Oh, oh wow! And then for the garnish, I used I used some strawberries. I, I cut a little slit in that so it fit. <laughs> did, I did the same. I did the same with the grape and and the banana. Oh wow! So it would all fit. Now were you were you eating yogurt while you were making it? I was licking the spoon. You were licking the spoon. I could tell you got yogurt right there. <laughs> God, da, da, da. <laughs> that is a very cool parfait. So I came into the dining room. We just finished lunch, and little one is, what are you looking at? I mean, the 2014 December Daily. December Daily, exactly. So this was, was this my first one? Yeah, this was the first December Daily that Mommy made, and I've made one, I think, ever since. Yeah, I've made one ever since, every December, huh? Huh, you yeah. knew are a natural. I'm a natural. Well, thank you. You are a natural, too, and you get to make one of your own, right? Yay, yeah, my own hip kit child thingy no you're gonna get the december daily kit the kids yeah. kit yeah so i'm gonna order our december daily products tomorrow and uh so she'll be able to make one of her own and it's a really cute kit with just enough supplies for kids to make their own but uh yeah so mommy this was her very first one that she made and i made it out of materials out of my stash oh, she's so cute i just love my baby <laughs> It's Thursday. Still not feeling well. I think now I have to go see the doctor and get something stronger than an over-the-counter medication. I think that um, whatever it is that I have, I'm going to need an antibiotic of some type. So, yay. But first, I'm going to have some tea and some eggs, toast, and salsa and a little bit of fruit. Fruit mainly, hopefully help soothe my throat just a little bit with the coldness and the water from the fruit and also added nutrients and whatnot. I've got some honey in my tea today with some lemon, so we'll see how that goes. And I'm going to work a little bit and probably take it out.
sleep <laughs> on the floor. She's always sleeping. She takes medication that just knocks her out. So usually around this time of the day, that's normally where I find her. I'm making dinner. Actually, we're having leftovers, chicken tortilla soup and quesadillas. So that should be really good. It's kind of still rainy. It's been raining on and off today. Um, I'm starting to feel a little bit better, but not much. <laughs> I'm hanging in there. And so after dinner, I'm going to work on a bunch of projects. I've got one, two, three, I've got four layouts that I need to make, actually probably a little bit more, but three of them I need to make between now and tomorrow um, for a project that I'm working on for a friend of mine. And I'm gonna tell you guys about that um, as soon as I get the projects done because I'm really super excited for her. It's her first product line and she came out swinging. It's fantastic. And so she asked me to work on some projects for the website. And so I'm doing that. And then I've got my Hip Kit Club video to do. And then I'm gonna spend some time working on a project that I promise I will tell you about. I'm a little nervous about, but I'm gonna spend some time kind of figuring that out. And I've got a class that I'm taking called Teach What You Do by Debbie Hodge. And I've got another project that I'm working on that's based off the content that I'm learning from her class, which is um, to launch, relaunch some of my online classes that I have. So that's gonna be coming up soon. So I'm gonna try to get dinner out of the way so I can work on the stuff. I'll see how far we go before I actually get tired because um, it's usually around the evening time now that I've been sick for a couple of days it's in the morning and then the evening when things just start going downhill for me so anyway also we're back from gymnastics practice because today's Thursday but let me give you a sneak peek at what I'm going to be working with honestly guys I love it when it's like storming outside it's perfect 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 so the rain and it looks like it's just doing a little bit of sprinkling, but I think it's about to pour down here in just a second. And I can light my candle and have something hot to drink. It's gonna be a perfect night for creating beautiful things. So Corinne just fell asleep while she was playing. <laughs> Poor baby, she had Barbies everywhere in her room. And sometimes I go walk in, I'm thinking, oh, disaster area. But there's never gonna be another eight, right? There's never gonna be the other, another eighth year. They just keep growing and getting bigger. And sometimes I think, you know, I'm gonna miss those little messy rooms, those little Barbies everywhere. So the Barbies remain on the floor <laughs> until the morning. But she's fast asleep. She was very tired. I'm starting to get tired too. I was feeling good this morning. Things are going downhill now. I think I need to go see a doctor. I was going to see a doctor today. Didn't get in the chance to. So I'm definitely going to have to go to probably, let's see, tomorrow's Saturday. So I'll probably need to go to care now or something like that. So I can at least be seen so I can get a Z-Pack and a steroid shot. Because this coughing mess is out of control. I'm still not feeling a whole lot better. So today is the day I've done web check-in with uh, Care Now. I don't have a, uh, my physician that I used to see is in a different town, like an hour away. So since we moved here to Fort Worth, I haven't found a new physician and that was what I was supposed to do yesterday. I found somebody, I was supposed to make an appointment and then I didn't do that. So we're just gonna head over to Care Now and uh, all I need is a Z-Pack and a steroid. Like I've been through this before. <laughs> I slept till 10 today. I do have several projects I need to work on, but I think once we, I'm waiting for them to call me back. I did a web check-in, so it's like an hour to wait. So I'm glad I'm able to stay at home and wait. So we are gonna go do that. Bree's gonna take me because I'm not confident that I'm, I'm feeling really drowsy, so I'm not confident I can drive myself. And then um, I'm gonna eat a little bit. I actually have some toast and some, uh, some tea here. And then um, I'll eat lunch, eat a substantial lunch and then try to get some work done and then nap. So today's gonna be kind of a work nap, work nap, <laughs> on and off today and probably tomorrow. Um, I really, really, really wanted to go to a museum today to see an exhibit, a really cool exhibit at the Modern Museum in Fort Worth, but that's just gonna to have to wait until next week. I'm gonna try this weekend to get a lot of this stuff knocked out my system because it's put me way behind. 
I am really, really, really struggling with taking time off for my health. Um, because you don't get no sick days whenever you uh, work for yourself. Although, I mean, not like I can't deny myself rest clearly, but when there's just so much to do, I just, I don't know, I guess that's just a workaholic in me, so. So back from care now, 90 freaking dollars later, horrible experience. The doctor, I think I was the one diagnosing and treating. So the doctor comes in, we got a little bit of laryngitis going on now. And she's like, so I hear you have some congestion problems. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm thinking it's probably bronchitis, whatever. I'm telling her about my symptoms. I said I get it every year, blah, blah, blah. Well, do you want us to do an x-ray? Do you want, would you like a Z pack or a steroid shot? Like she's asking me this, like I need to diagnose myself. And I'm like, you're the doctor. Shouldn't you be telling me this stuff? So anyway, needless to say, after an incredibly long visit, I finally said, you know what? Just write me a, a subscription for the Z pack for some antibiotics. And I'm going to go from there. So priority number one, y'all going to hold me to this, is to find a new primary doctor. And if I can't find one within the week, I'm just going to make one with my old one and just drive the hour to go see her. Um, but find a primary doctor who knows what the hell they're doing because this chick had no clue. So I have a little mini mite in here with me. And what are you doing, baby? Trying to figure out my scrapbook. Her scrapbook stash, which she's got laid out right here on the bed, which is... A little bit of stuff that people have given her, some stuff from <laughs> my stash. And what are you doing? You're putting things in plastic baggies? Is yeah, that what you're I'm doing? trying to figure out where, where to put all of this. Where to put all of it. And what were you telling me earlier about your stash? What'd you say? It's insane. That your stash has gone crazy? Yeah, so, yes. <laughs> so you got all kinds of stuff. Now, are you going to scrapbook? Is that what you're going to do? Yeah. Yeah. I just need to get... You got to get organized. Uh, yeah, I am the person that you will always see nice, nice, neat, and organized. Is that right? <laughs> yes, except when it comes to my room. So, except for it comes to your room, right? So she's got her little drink, and she's got some photos. She's sitting on this side of Mommy's desk while I'm working on a square day. And we're watching Gilmore Girls. As always. As always. That's all for now. See you next week.